Yes, this seems about right. I am four years old, and I'm being told that I'm not allowed another birthday party for a quarter of my life. It's three years later. I find a slow worm coiled beneath the lid of a bin. I am absorbed for hours dissecting its intricate details, the tiny hooks beneath silver scales where once were feet, a forked tongue, layered stripes, and see here, blue patination along the left dorsal side, but not the right. It's so exciting. The next 12 years are insignificant. Ha, 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 ha. This half pint makes my hands look huge. I say to Philip, the entire world is defined by context. Even the very way we experience the passing of time, every second is smaller compared to the last. And then he says, oh, I don't know. It's what you make of it. It's how we spend the moments, Peter. That's what makes them weighty. Yes, that too. Couldn't agree more. Look at this. You've got beer in your beard. We've been here for two hours, which makes up less than a 150,000th of my life thus far. Whereas for my eldest child, the same amount of time is, well, it's 14 times more. Time for him is so potent. I am deeply jealous, and these thoughts return to me often. I'm 45, and having vowed never to do anything twice again, I find myself leading a 12-strong team of taxonomists through the southern Amazon. Fly, 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 life. Life. I divide naming rights between the team, and I call a particularly elegant arthropod the Eagleman Stag. With each new find, the sand swells to rock. The years are weighty again. Everything is going really well. It's 3.36 a.m. and I am weeping into a fistful of documents denying me funding for an expedition to the Tristan Islands. Bureaucracy has thwarted me. It's too much to take. I snap my pen and I cut the heads off every insect in the east wing. The blood on my hand is a deep and brilliant red. In, in the case of the Eagleman stag, I find a severed head next to an apparently unharmed, fully headed beetle. It seems I have discovered the first known living creature with the ability to regrow fresh nerve tissue. 
I am overwhelmed by the potential for medical advancement. An end to paralysis, Alzheimer's, and dementia even. But in a moment of bitter resentment for the scientific community and human beings in general, I decide not to tell anybody about this. My initial moment of consciousness, with nothing else to compare it to, lasted a lifetime. And yet, the moment that followed became but half a lifetime, and therefore must have passed twice as quickly. It is 80 years later, and there are two flasks to my left. The first is to forget, to induce a total amnesia, to forget it all, everything, to break the connections and reset the clock. The second, the second is to remember again, to use the cells of the Eagleman stag to build links and memories anew, to see infinity again in that first waking thought, to take my final fleeting years of life and fill them with the awe of infancy, to bring weight. Everything I've ever said is compressed into a single word. I see infinity in a plyboard desert and feel a brief, terrifying sensation that I'm an inanimate object. Thank you.